Our next agenda item is agenda item 5B, and this is the text amendments. It's TXT 2024-02. Mr. Dill. Yes, sir. Thank you. As you see here, we have a recent history of updated text amendments, and this is the latest for 2024. Uh, updating a few things like definitions, the types of variants, the text amendment process itself, particular engineering design standards, and again, some clarifying form formatting. The First Amendment here, as we discussed yesterday, touches many sections that ultimately deal with uh, no being, not being able to reduce a setback for a side yard less than eight feet. If any setback were to be reduced less than eight feet, it would have to go through a plan development process, which the board would then have to uh, approve at a public hearing. Amendment two again changes the text amendment process, uh, hoping to speed up overall by removing the planning commission from the responsible uh, responsible entities list here and adding just the word text to the to the table. Again, Amendment 3 removes duplicate definitions that are also found in Appendix A of the ULDC. These definitions only appear in Appendix A and therefore staff felt uh, it best to remove them from the ULDC table. Amendment 4, this amendment was recommended by the Planning Commission, but in working with county leadership and legal staff based on state law changes that went into effect July 1, we are recommending that this uh, amendment be pulled at this time. Amendment number 5 deals with, just again, formatting, bold, and capitalization. And again, this amendment is <coughs> more or less taken care of already, therefore removed here. Number six refers to CBOA, finally referenced as the CBOA instead of the CBA in the code. Amendment seven, this is an update to the International Fire Code with a slight modification based on recommendations from the engineering department to increase our standard widths for easier design purposes. You see those additions here in 60102F, is where they increase from 100 feet to 120 feet for right of way, from paving 80 to 100, and for temporary cul de sac again 80 to 100. Those are the proposed amendments. Future consideration you see there is for utilities connection, which again, staff will be working with you all uh, in, in the coming days and weeks to work on. With that being said, the Planning Commission did recommend approval unanimously 8 to 0, though, in working with again leadership and the legal staff, uh, council. Staff recommends approval of only amendments 1, 2, 3, 6, and 7. Those amendments are here in the room with you. The county attorney has them on his desk. And again, I'll turn it over to you for consideration. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Dill? The uh, 100 foot, is that the circle of the cul de sac, the paved circle? Yes, sir. That, that is the paving, sir. I guess the question I had, J.D., is uh, the recommendation going from 100 to 120 feet, is that uh, something handed down by the state or recommendation based on, I guess, our, our region? That's a recommendation from the engineering department. When we adopted the International Fire Code, it automatically changed it up to 96 feet, and the ULDC only had it at 80, and that for, we felt just for design standards, increasing up to the 120 for the right-of-way and the 100 for the paving, uh, was in line and appropriate with the designs that we see here locally. Okay. <clears throat> Regarding the, um, the text of the changes, the, uh, us, us doing that without the planning commission, what, how can you introduce what, what we talk about in the way of advertising for the public? Mm -hmm. So we would still advertise any update to the ULDC just like we would advertise any type of rezoning. It just does not have to be advertised to go before the planning commission and then come to the commission. So we would still still advertise for you all's meeting like we would for anything else. Okay. Any other questions? We'll be notified as part of the stakeholder group, similar to how we notify the chamber of home builders, um, and any other particular amendments that might affect certain groups. They would still be notified to be able to provide input. Right. Okay. Any other questions? All right, hearing none, we'll move it to the public hearing portion of the meeting. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. <clears throat> my name is Gretchen Porterman. I live at 6565 Porterman Road. I take my mail at Post Office Box 461 Hay Harrow. Um, I'm in um, opposition to the second bit of the amendment, the text amendment bit. Um, we've had uh, text amendments in 2015 and then none until 2023. 
So, yeah, I suppose we could hurry up, but there wasn't any action going on during that time. And this year, um, we had text amendments in January and now again in July. So we made two different sets of them in a year, and the Planning Commission wasn't any particular impediment to those. Um, when the planner says that constituent groups will be notified, well, yes, if you happen to be in the in-group of the chamber or the Rotary or the home builders or some other in-group, but if you're just a regular citizen and you want to be able to make a comment, today would be your only day to make a comment. Having it at the Planning Commission also lets citizens have two chances to have a comment. And it also, um, when, a, when a person wants to have a rezoning or make a change, they have to go to the Planning Commission and then they come here. Here's where the government is wanting to make a change, so they should go to the Planning Commission and get some input and then come here. Why should the government be held to less standards than the citizens? So I would ask that you vote on them one at a time and that you vote not to approve amendment number two. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Okay, hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone that would like to speak in favor? Okay, hearing none, we'll close the public hearing portion of the meeting and commissioners, I'll turn it over to you for your consideration. Changes to Amendment 1, 2, 3, 6, and 7. Yes. So we have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second by Ms. Evans. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, I'll call the vote. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed, like sign? Aye. We have one in opposition. Aye. So we have two. So it's three to two. That's my understanding of the vote. Okay? Three to two, then the motion carries. All right, well, now 